Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you how to install this wrench oven. We're going to install the uh, flexible line and the connection in the back. So I'm going to take you step by step, so don't go anywhere, I'll be right back. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to pull it out. So the part we're going to use, we're going to use this gas connector. This is half inch. Uh, most of the appliances are half inch, but then you have the five eighths. Five eighths is a little bit bigger, um, but most of them are five eighths. You can buy uh, fittings for five eighths and half inch at Home Depot, Menards, Lowe's, anywhere. And this is from uh, this is from Home Depot. It's a brass craft. It's about thirty dollars for sixty inches, five feet. And uh, this is the back of the oven, right here in the back of the wrench. So I'm gonna show you here. We have to remove this. And that's half inch. So um, your connector comes with half inch already. So we have an extra feeding. So this is uh, this is half inch IPS by half inch flare compression. And on this side. So now we are here on, on the other side of the gas valve. This fitting is, is going to protect your life. It has, uh, it protects you against excess flow of gas. And it, if it's too much heat, it's going to activate it and it's going to shut it off. And let me explain to you how it works. So um, if I, I'm going to blow a small pressure. I don't know if you hear it and it works fine, but if I go harder, it blocks it. You hear that? It's gonna protect you. So this is a nice fitting to use. Uh, remember to buy it every time you replace a gas flake. So let's start here at the gas valve. Remember the arrows. So we're gonna apply Teflon paste to the threads. So make sure you cover everything. And now we're going to install it here on top. And there we're going to use our adjustable wrench. So we're going to hold the other knot and then we're going to go with this one. And remember, it has to be tight, but not very tight. And uh, if you had two wrenches, the bigger one is gonna protect the other fitting, and the smaller one is gonna go in the one that is gonna be moving. Okay, so that's it. Now we're gonna connect one end of our flex line. Both are half inch, so any side is gonna fit here. So now we're gonna go clockwise. We're gonna do the same. We're gonna hold the bigger knot here, the one that doesn't move. And with the smaller, and with the other one, we're gonna get it tight. There you go. And right here, we're gonna do the same. As I said, most new newer equipment comes with half inch. If uh, some comes with three eighths, if by any reason this was three eighths, then you could use, use you can still use this one because if you look inside, there's a three eighths inside and then a half inch. Of course, you're gonna need a nipple and then you are gonna use this fitting, but you could use the same fitting for a three eight and a half inch. And 
And then again, we're gonna use two wrenches. One is gonna protect your, uh, your gas valve, the body of it. If you go too hard without protecting it, you might break it inside. So we're gonna use this one here, and then with the other one, we're gonna tighten it. So go clockwise. Now we're gonna we're gonna connect our flare connection. Remember, you don't have to do any anything here to the male or to the female part. So same thing. We're gonna go clockwise. And then we're gonna hold this wrench and then with the other one, we're gonna get tighten it. So it's pretty much the same as the cooktop video I just did a couple weeks ago. There you go. So that's tight. We're gonna turn the gas on. We're gonna clean the excess Teflon. And we're gonna check for gas leaks. No leaks, so let's test the other side. Wait for a couple minutes, a few seconds. Nothing, everything is okay. So let's plug, let's connect the electrical cord and then uh, try test the burners. So just a tip, I always get uh, my flakes 60 inches or longer. So whenever we have to service the oven, the back of it, we just pull it and we don't have to disconnect anything. So, so it has power now. Now we're gonna try the burners. It's gonna take a few seconds because the gas has to come out. Look at that. That's one. Two, three, four. Let me turn the lights off so you could see. Woohoo, look at that. Now we're gonna turn everything off. And I'm gonna show you how to set your clock. Most um, ovens, microwaves are the same. So you're gonna press on set clock right here, two times. And then with the uh, plus sign, you're gonna go, what time is it, mom? Huh? What time is it? So it's 1.35, so we just go 35, it's 1.35, there you go. And then hit uh, set clock again, and then it's ready to go. That's it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, or if it was useful to you, please like and subscribe.